Folks, coming up next, there you see the main event, Cole Quinn one-on-one with Uncle Ed. Stay with us. Folks, we're back, and here we go for our featured bout this week. Here comes Cole Quinn, and look who he has with him. What a sight this is. Cole Quinn being accompanied by the heavyweight champion Showtime Sean, who's the very reason Cole Quinn cannot challenge for the title. But before the break, Sean approached Quinn and he said, you take out Uncle Ed, make sure he doesn't make it to fall showdown, and I'll lift your ban on championship matches. Meaning, if he puts Uncle Ed out of commission, Showtime Sean says he'll give Cole Quinn another title shot. Possibly a fall showdown in Uncle Ed's place, should he be taken out of the equation. Cole Quinn showing off. Former heavyweight champion himself. And here he comes. Collectively, Los Uncles. Long to tag team champs, Trav and Uncle Ronnie, and the honorary unk for now, Vivacious Jimmy G. And I guess Travis is out here to keep Ronnie and Jimmy G from tearing each other apart and perhaps costing Ed a victory. He doesn't want that to happen, but Travis, earlier on, moments ago, in fact, as you saw, picked up the victory over the X Division champion, Devious Dwayne Michael, in spite of the issues going on within the family. And Uncle Ronnie seeming to lead the charge here. Hydrates himself with some H2O. And Los Uncles, they know it's time to get down to business. Uncle had the biggest match of his career. Coming up in just two weeks. Biggest match of his career in the, just 90 days off from his 60th birthday, he enters the biggest match of his life. <laughs> and he gives up, you know, Showtime Sean, 40, almost 40 years the junior. And he's only in his second year in the business, defending the heavyweight championship in front of a huge crowd in Chicago. Here we go. Ready to lock up for the main event, the featured match. Heavy knee lift in the corner, and Cole Quinn, we're out starting gate looking to make a statement, a big impact on the number one contender, Uncle Ed. And he wastes no time going upstairs. Calls him back to his feet. Oh, diving DDT, exactly, just snapping that head down. I don't know how in the hell Uncle Ed's even standing, let alone taking over after that move. 
neck breaker nicely done. Really targeting the head early on. Uncle Ed fights his way to freedom. Jawbreaker there. Throwing them haymakers now. Uncle Ed learned that brawling in the mean streets. The mean streets of the East End. Chill coffee. Hey, look at those punches. Uncle Ed raising hell, but that hell's quickly cut off by Cole Quinn. All oh, in some martial arts kicks there. Cole Quinn showing his prowess. Gets a one count. As the heavyweight champ Showtime Sean Watch is on. And the rest of Los Uncles minus Charles, the fifth one. Gets picked by his absence the last few weeks. Up top, diving elbow. But oh, and a springboard Phoenix splash into the cover. And Uncle Ed kicks out. Cole Quinn really targeting the rib area. Going to work on the arm, too, just neutralizing every body part of him. As ooh, three quarters of Los Uncles. Out there keeping the heavyweight champ Showtime Sean at bay, who was humiliated earlier tonight by the legendary Rob Van Dam. Meanwhile, Cole Quinn, schoolboy into a little power bomb there. Back to work on that lower back rib area, as well as the arm. Notice. Viciousness, you know, it worked for Dwayne Michael. And Cole Quinn was vicious beforehand, but digging deeper inside and finding that might get him back to the main event to the heavyweight title. And a clothesline sends Uncle Ed up and over. Uncle Ed back in, and he's in a lot of trouble here. Elevated power bomb, and he he got him. Well, Uncle Ed, he may have lost tonight, but he wasn't taken out. So Uncle Ed and Showtime Sean, they still have a date. The casino chip cash in coming up on the third in just two weeks folks that does it for us here this week on GTA Vice City Wrestling oh, we'll see you next week folks and this just in next week's main event 500 pound inmate will face SWAT team member number three the man he took out backstage last week in a ladder match and get this folks Whoever wins will get the man advantage for their team at Fall Showdown in the Anarchy in the Asylum match. Will favor swing between the SWAT team or the inmates favor as far as the man advantage goes? Find out next week in that high stakes ladder match and a whole lot more, a great deal more. We'll talk to you next week.